The original Freak launched in 2015 when there was not much else like it. Back then our range of suits was still really focused on wingsuit base. So I wanted a suit that was playful enough to backfly and barrel roll and have fun with in the mountains, but with enough power and performance to fly safely and have good margin on big mountain lines in the Alps. And it turned out that this concept made a lot of sense in skydiving too. It was basically a freestyle suit with advanced suit performance, so yeah, it caught on fast. So obviously the Freak series has been our favorite suit to fly most of the time for a few years now. We've been incrementally adding performance with each version that we've released, and the Freak 4 is definitely no exception. It's significantly faster and more efficient than the Freak 3, and overall just feels more compact and more fun and agile on the flight. So what we're most stoked about on the Freak 4 design is, well, two things, uh, probably three. First, the monochamber design. The concept of the monochamber initially was just to improve speed and glide performance. We only envisioned it being used on competition suits and our most advanced race suits, and we didn't really think to apply it to a freestyle or mid-range suit until last year. It actually made much more of an improvement in terms of handling than it did in performance. So the benefits of the monochamber design lend themselves most to situations where the suit is changing angle of attack rapidly or going through really quick roll movements. And in those situations, the entire suit is connected. Every part of the arm wing and leg wing is being fed by any inlet that's taking air in at whatever angle or bank you're flying. So that turns out to be really helpful in freestyle flying. It feels much more coordinated from wingtip to wingtip across the span. You guys are great. This, doesn't that look good? It feels much more even at all angles of attack. And it's generally just easier and more comfortable to fly. So yeah, it's been really exciting taking something that we initially envisioned only being used for race suits and putting it into something that we all love to fly on a daily basis. So yeah, the monochamber design has been pretty cool.